Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy New Year! I have not sat down and filmed a video in... It feels like a really long time actually. Probably like a month because the last video that I um, edited and uploaded was a lot of clips that I had filmed prior and then I did a voiceover. So this is like my first time actually sitting down in front of a camera in probably like a full month, which Honestly, when I go that long, it starts to feel like awkward again. I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing with my hands? I just wanted to make like a quick candid video um, Just enjoying this beautiful day that we're having. It is January 1st. I'm hoping to upload this video today so that um, Everybody who is on the internet right now looking to kill time on the first day of the year will actually see it in time but here in the south, it is gorgeous. I think today is supposed to be a high of like 63, which is nuts. Um, it's a little bit windy, but beautiful. It's so nice. I got out with my son. Uh, we went on like a little walk down the street before his nap and just, just soaking up the sunlight is essential. So I think after I film this video, I'm probably gonna lay in the hammock for a little bit and just enjoy it because it's the time of the day where the sun is hitting the back porch and you get like just this beautiful diffused light because it shines through these super tall pine trees. It's just perfect. I love it so much. Um, anyways, that's what is happening today. I wanted to, I guess, just express my excitement and hope for this new year. I don't know what it will hold, but I know that things are gonna change. I know that my aspects of my job are changing and I don't even know what is gonna happen with that. I'm gonna find out tomorrow, but I just know that this year is going to look different than last year. And that's kind of how every year is. You never have two years that are exactly the same. But I feel like this year is going to have a lot of big changes in it. Um, I just don't know what they're going to be. Just have that feeling. I don't know how else to describe it, but have that feeling. Some things that I'm looking forward to doing this year that I will take you along with me. And I will, I don't know, hold me to it in the comments. Yell at me, whatever, what have you. I will bring you along in some of the projects that I'm planning on doing. I would like to tackle redoing our guest bathroom and I also want to get my garden started. That's probably going to be the first project I do is actually getting my, I have a standing garden um, that is like, I think it's just supposed to be an herb garden, uh, but I'm planning on planting that up. I have to build it first and put it together and then plant it with just various herbs, but I also want to try some fun things like peppers maybe I don't know I just want to get creative and and plant some things that we will hopefully be able to harvest in just a few months so I'm excited to bring you guys along for that and then the bathroom renovation that is like our whole house we want to renovate it's gonna be a slow slow process because of I mean many factors but <laughs> The main one being that we have a two and a half year old toddler and it just, it's pretty much impossible to do like crazy renovations with a toddler running around. So we have to choose our projects carefully. Um, other than that, I am just chugging along with my day to day job. I would love to spend more time making videos for you guys this coming year. I feel like last year I actually did pretty good, but I would like to hone in a little bit more this year and share with you very like specific projects. And um, I do love making these videos where I just chat as well. So let me know if you enjoy just sit down chats. I'm happy to make those. They're very easy to make. Um, some of the other videos that I really enjoy creating are ones where I have a lot of thoughts about something and I, I want to express those thoughts to you but in a very cinematic and beautiful way. Those videos take a lot of effort to make um, but they are usually worth it. 
I just can't make those videos super often because again, it takes a lot of time, like probably at least 10 to 12 hours of editing on top of the hours put into um, filming. But again, it is always worth it to make those videos because it just, I don't know, creating like a video that feels like a piece of art is, it fills me up as a creative person and then to see it bring joy to other people is just like the cherry on top. So, um, yeah, last year, I feel like I haven't had a chance to reflect. <laughs> My son got sick um, over the last few days, so I don't feel like I had enough time to like do the reflections that I normally do. So I think while I'm sitting here in my hammock, I'm gonna do some reflecting, but I know that there's two things that have been on my heart that I would like to carry into this new year that I feel like I got just the little taste of in 2023. And those two words are gratitude and generosity. I would love to focus on maintaining my focus on generosity and gratitude. I hope that made sense. Because I feel like I have so much ability to be grateful and to share with others and to be to freely give. And the thing that stops me from experiencing that or having that in my life is just my focus. I get really unfocused and like I don't know, we get through those times of life where we're just like stuck in a pattern and kind of going through the motions. I'd like to be a lot more intentional this year on just being grateful and letting that gratitude overflow in the way of being more generous. And one thing that I, I did write out a script for this video and I decided I'm just gonna sit down and talk. But one thing that I did write down was that um, being generous, I think people always equate it to money, but it doesn't always have to be money. If you don't have any extra money um, to give, that's okay. You can give so many other things. You can give your time, you can give your energy to people, you can give your attention. Sometimes, like, for me, that's, that's honestly where I've been struggling lately is my attention. I feel like I have been just not giving that attention. Um, to the people around me that really need it and want it. So I feel like that's something that I would like to work on a little bit this year is just being more generous with my attention span. <laughs> I think maybe a lot of people might relate to that, especially if you spend a lot of time on like TikTok. Attention span, let's try to lengthen those attention spans because it just, it can be really rewarding to another person to receive that full attention and to be truly heard. Um, so that's one way that you can be generous. Another way would be like crafting or um, art or baking. Like there's so many ways that we can incorporate generosity into our lives. And I think being a generous person is such a perfect circle because when you start with this place of gratitude, you're overflowing with you know what you have and so you give to others and then you receive it back and it's just it's this beautiful cycle that um, all you have to do is jump in you just jump into it be grateful be generous like those are the things that I want to keep telling myself all year long be grateful be generous and yeah that's pretty much all this video is today just kind of chatting and telling you what my goals are for this year, which are not like specific goals. I know some people really enjoy doing <clears throat> specific goals, but I am not one of those people. I am like a lot more, um, I don't even know the word for it, but just bigger picture person, I guess. <clears throat> the details I struggle with, but when I look at my life overall, it's like easy for me to see the big picture of, you know, what I've learned and what I want in life, if that makes sense. That probably made no sense, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm not gonna be editing this video very much, so my apologies if it was just a very long ramble. 
but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel, all the likes, comments, um, subscribing. I feel like my channel grew pretty well over this last year, even despite my like lack of posting super consistently. I really appreciate it so much. I love seeing your guys' comments on my videos when I upload. It just brings me a lot of joy and I cannot wait to make more content for you guys this year and yeah, just really excited to see what the future holds. Thank you again so much and I will see you guys in the next video.